Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to tutorial number 36. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what to put inside of your section. But before we go ahead and start that, um, I should probably just explain some things to you guys. And uh, the first thing is, there's quite a few guys <laughs> below my commenting below my videos saying, you have a really nice accent, where are you from? And uh, <laughs> that's really nice of you guys, but... Uh, I'm from South Africa, so you know, just thought I'd let you guys all know at once, so then you don't have to answer this question 150,000 times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's where I'm from. Just in case you're wondering why my accent's funny, and then uh, the next thing is actually a little bit more tutorial related, and this image over here. In my previous tutorial, I wasn't actually using an image, so it just displayed the words logo underscore image um, or just logo image I don't know where I got the underscore from but yeah okay so logo image but uh, since then I actually went ahead and I put this image inside of there so um, let me just large icons okay so I put that image inside of there now uh, so if if we run this in Firefox now you can see we get uh, an actual logo <laughs> and uh, I actually already made this tutorial a couple minutes ago but then I realized I made a big mistake so I had to re-record it now so um, anyways there we go that's my website for now but now we need to go ahead and work inside of the section so as you can see inside of our section right now there's just a comment that says next tutorial and that was written in the previous tutorial so now it's the next tutorial and we can go ahead and delete that and get started on our section so let me just start off by explaining what your section is okay your section is like the main article or the main yeah well basically the main article of your website so that's pretty much why the users came to your web page they wanted to see what was in your section so if you were writing a story about cats then your story about cats would be over here inside of an article and that kind of gives away what we have to put inside of our section and that is an article tag article and then we have to end our article off article I yeah I can really not type today so article and um, inside of our article we have to start our article off with a header because okay, you guys never ever went to a website or read a story in a newspaper that didn't start off with a header to attract your attention it just that's how the things are you have to start off with a header so go ahead and header and inside of our header we can go ahead and add in uh, heading one and for this we'll have to say something that is really gonna grab the user's attention like they're gonna wanna look at that and then read the article so uh, we might as well just say hey look here stupid and that's pretty much got their attention they now looked at that and they're like oh my gosh you're calling me stupid okay let me read some more you know uh, <laughs> so or maybe they would well, maybe they just feel insulted and now they're running away so now we can uh, put a subheader underneath our main header and we can be a little bit more kind in this one and say please read me it's what I'm here for it's here what I am for okay I'll go with that <laughs> I don't know why I typed that but that's what I typed so deal with it and what I want to do now is because we've used two headers right next to each other when our browser starts reading through this web page and displaying it to the user it kind of thinks okay is this the header or is this the header and it gets a little bit confused so what you actually have to do is you have to surround both of these tags in something called an H group. If I can get this right, H group, there we go, cool, finally got it. And we'll end our H group off over here. Okay, just breathe. H group, 
there we go cool so we can uh, highlight that and push tab and then it indents it for us which is pretty cool just in case you're wondering how I did that and um, now as you can see we've got this great header inside of our article and I mean this is really gonna attract the user's attention after they see this they're really gonna wanna read our article and uh, like I said we, whenever we had more than one header we had to group them inside of a H group just to tell our browser that that is all one big group of headings and uh, what we can do now is after our article we need to go ahead and write a story because to be honest no one's really going to be happy coming to your web page and only seeing those two headers they're going to want to read some story so let's go ahead and uh, make a story over there and we can put that inside a paragraph and for our story we can probably just say this is my story the cat sat on the mat the end cool so that is like the best story ever written right there that is like Oscar material but anyways um, so now what we can do is beneath our story once we finish writing our story we can then add in a footer and whatever goes inside our footer is basically just um, like who the story was maybe written by or the date that the story was written on so we can go ahead and uh, and that footer and uh, if you were writing like a news website or something like that then you'd probably like to have the date here and then the article I mean the yeah the person who wrote the article as well but I'm just gonna write uh, my name for now so we'll just say written by Clinton what right there cool save that and uh, now we've got this really interesting article that you know like everyone's gonna come to our website and read this because it's like the best article in the world but um, <laughs> we can actually add quite a few different articles to our website so we don't actually just have to have this we can go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and copy that and we can have a second article over here so we might as well be a little bit more kind in this one and we'll just say hey handsome and uh, please okay well please read me <laughs> I was lack of creativity over there um, uh, uh, okay we'll just write story time just like that and written by Quentin Watts because I write all the stories on my website you know cool so now when we go back to uh, Firefox you can see that our section which was actually above the side news so it's actually gonna appear over here when I click refresh BAM there it is okay so that is our section and our section says hey look here stupid <laughs> so there we go that's our article and underneath our section we've got our recent news and then we've got our main footer but like I said at the end of the previous tutorial this isn't the final website no one's really gonna wanna come and look at this so in the next couple of tutorials I'm still gonna have to show you guys how to style your website and actually how to get this aside section which is supposed to be on the side to get to be on the side because right now it's just sitting here underneath everything and that's not where it's supposed to be so uh, that's what you guys have got forward to look or that's what you guys have got to look forward to in the next tutorial uh-huh there we go kind of a tongue twister right there and uh, I will see you guys next time so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time